Well, hello, Earthlings. So I thought I should probably put up a video of like me and Canada and all that kind of thing because I haven't put up anything and you know, some of you might want to know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm here, I'm in Canada. It's really, really cool, like literally cold, so cold. And um, yeah, that's been an experience in itself. Apparently it's spring. Guys, it's still in the negatives. Still in the negatives, that's not spring. That is not spring. So um, yeah, it's it's been fun, it's been interesting. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. First week we had like orientation and stuff, so getting to know each other, you know, all those kind of things. We had a testimony time, which was really awesome, so everyone went around and gave their testimony and <clears throat> all that kind of cool stuff. Um, and yeah, that was a really good week of just like getting to know each other and getting to know what we're doing and how the school's going to work and and all that kind of stuff and what the purpose of the school is and how it started and blah, blah, blah. Um, so then the next week we had our first week of teaching which was by this cool guy called Gabriel and he's awesome he actually lives here in our house and he was the actually the guy with his wife who started up our particular school um it's been going how many years has it been going for actually the school Oh, I have no idea. Long time. It's like six, seven, eight, something like that years. Um, so they started up our particular arts music school. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that was really cool. He spoke on fear of God and it was a really good week of just um, talking about stuff and um, hearing, hearing the kind of relationship God wants us to have with him. And we also had a time of confession where we talked about stuff and people would pray for us and... Um, just bringing things forward, like, you know, living in relationship with each other. So that was really, really cool. Um, and then the second week was this cool guy called Derek. He's from Hawaii. Um, and he spoke on identity and destiny. And that was really cool. Um, really awesome guy. And um, Aloha. Aloha, yep. <laughs> so I'll introduce you soon. I'm just going to tell them about it and then you, oh, okay. you get to if you say hello um that was a really really cool week um he's just really good at like telling stories and doing cool stuff like that so he was really awesome and um that was the week that i got baptized yay um so some of you might be like why did she get baptized because some of you probably know that i've already gotten baptized but um basically our school leaders were like hey we're getting baptized again because we just feel like it wasn't um our choice when we first got baptized and we want this to be something that we made our choice and um, I kind of felt the same because I remember when I got baptized at eight years old, I kind of just did it because my friends were doing it. Um, so if you're my friends, thanks a lot, guys. Um, and <clears throat> um, yeah, so I got baptized in this like little bathtub up on the third floor and it was really squishy in that room and we kind of had to do a running commentary the whole time because no one else could see what was going on. Um, so, but it was awesome. Um, so that was a really cool moment to, like, have made that choice mine. Um, then the next week we had relationships. So, you know, um, basically they paired us all up, you know, got us into couples and now we're all dating each other. Um, <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. That was a, really a joke. Um, <clears throat> so they talked about a lot of stuff and... Um, yeah, just each week has been really cool, like, I guess relationships wasn't just put into one week, like, relationships is something we've all been learning about a lot since we live in community and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that was a really cool week, and then that brings us to last week, which was this lady called Belinda Bandaloo, Bandaloo, Bandaloo. Bandaloo. yep, it's just originally from Holland but grew up in America and then now lives in Holland yes um and she brought this other guy with her called Mike and they spoke on spiritual warfare so it was a pretty hardcore week um learning about spiritual warfare because spiritual warfare is intense 
Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that was, but it was really, really cool. Um, mine's going out now too, my video. It's going, going out? out? Yeah, the, the audio? audio. Hello. Oh no. Ah, la, la, la. Oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, and that was really cool. And last week was also the week that we found out the options for our outreach, which is in, we'll leave in like eight weeks or something. Um, so there was London, Peru, and Mauritius. So we basically found out on Wednesday morning, and then we weren't allowed to talk to anyone about it, um, and we just prayed and asked God where he wanted us to go. And then we handed in a piece of paper with our name and the country and the reason, to our school directors, and then we still weren't allowed to talk about it, um, as they like processed it and looked at it and talked to some people and whatever. We were supposed to find out Monday where we were going, but there was still some stuff going on. So today we found out where everyone's going, and I am going to Mauritius. So I'm super excited about that. There's five students and two staff on our team. Um, the th there's three girls that are students, and we're all roommates already, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's two boys who are pretty cool guys and then the two staff are female. Unfortunately, we're all English speakers, which is kind of sad, yeah. I feel. I was talking about with one of the boys. We're a bit sad about that because we love our French, our French friends. They're pretty, they're really cool. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit sad, but still cool. Still an awesome team. So we're, we were all like super pumped and excited and now we can finally talk about it as well because we haven't been able to talk about it. Um, but yeah, so it's really cool. Um, each week is just really crazy. Like, it's not just teaching. Um, we have, like, home projects, which I take care of the kids that live in our house. So it's really fun. You've probably seen quite a few pictures that I've put up because I just love the kids. They're awesome. Um, shout out to my kids. Not that they'll ever see this because they're all children and don't have Facebook. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, and we also each night have different stuff going on. Monday night's kind of a free night, but I have my one-on-one, -on -one, which is where I go and chill out with one of the staff and we just like, talk about what's going on and everything like that, kind of for support and prayer and all that. Um, Tuesday nights, which is tonight, woohoo, we have small group and it's awesome. Um, I love my small group. Um, that's where, if you've seen photos of a whole bunch of girls wearing I Love Devon shirts, that's where that came from. Because he's the only boy in our small group. And so we were like, yeah, we love Devin. We're his little fan club. Um, but yeah, we've done some really cool stuff in that. And it's really awesome just to have like a smaller group of people where we can just like hang out and stuff rather than always being in the big group. Um, Wednesday nights, is no, kind of a chill night. Um, Thursday nights we have a kendo, which is where we all go down to the pub around the corner. And whichever speaker was there for the week, they come up and talk and all that kind of thing. And tell a story and we do music down at the pub. We have a pretty good relationship with the pub. Um, the girl that works there, she's actually come to a lot of our classes as well. She came for a week. Um, she's really cool. Her name's Sabrina. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. Oh, Friday night we have our gap, which is where we have dinner as a community and then we have community worship, which is really cool. Um, and then weekends we just chill. Weekends, we don't really have anything that we have to be doing except journals because we all have to do a journal each week which we hand to our one-on-one -on -one and they look at it. So usually weekends are spent by everyone doing journals and stuff like that. So it's really, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a basic rundown of the things I've been doing. It's already a really long video so you probably, oh, some of you probably aren't even watching it anymore. Um, but yeah, I'll just quickly introduce you to my friend Ashley who is my roommate. Hello! Hi. She is from USA, Michigan. Michigan. She's really, really, really cool. Oh, Holland, Michigan. Yeah, Holland, Michigan. Yay! Holland, so, um, Michigan. never heard of that place before, but it's I have now. Not the real Holland, but almost as cool. <laughs> well, I think you're pretty cool. So. Appreciate it. You know. So, yeah, that's my friend. She's also going on outreach with me. Yes. To Mauritius. Mm -hmm. ah. Which is off the coast of Madagascar. Yeah. If any of you are wondering. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, that's my video. That's my friend. And I'll probably shut up now because it's almost been 10 minutes. <laughs>